पैसेज ए वेन आई स्पोक लास्ट इयर आई सेड दैट वी एंटिसिपेटेड दैट द मेन एम्फेसिस इन आवर वर्क इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटी सेवन वुड बी इन द फील्ड ऑफ कमर्शियल डेवलपमेंट वी आर अ लार्ज इंडस्ट्री मेडअप ऑफ अ वास्ट नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल यूनिट्स एंड वाइल देयर हैज बीन अ नैचुरल मूवमेंट टूवर्ड्स अ लार्जर साइज ऑफ यूनिट वन कैनॉट एंटिसिपेट दैट दैट मूवमेंट विल कंटिन्यू आई शुड लाइक हाउ एवर टू मेक आवर पोजिशन क्वाइट क्लियर for it is no part of our policy to assume that the future will mean fewer and fewer farmers with bigger and bigger farms i know that some people sincerely believe that the right policy is a general amalgamation into big farms and it would be quite wrong to ignore the difficulties that prejudice the prospects of a large number of individual operators getting the best results unless they get together on certain aspects of their work we already have many organizations which market the product of small producers and i feel great praise is due to the men who have shown so much enterprise and have done so much to make these organizations efficient i believe there is great potential in these developments provided they can be arranged to ensure that the driving force is transmitted into the maximum rate of progress if we accept the challenge to organize more effectively we have also to give much more serious consideration to what we are organizing for we have seen in the last decade the countries of the western world increasing their food production faster than their food consumption and this problem is common to the more developed countries of the world at the same time it is a fact that in the less developed countries there is a serious shortage of food the idea of assistance from the better off to the poor countries is now generally accepted and one cannot imagine any sound basis for a reasonably settled state of affairs in the world unless this obligation is accepted by civilized people we have been working in cooperation with representatives from many countries to evolve a world food and farm policy under which supplies from the west could make an important contribution in the general programs of aid now being considered the general aim is to enable these backward countries to build up a sound and lasting economy suited to their needs